also part of the Lawn Sculpture Biennale is artist Patty Behrens with her public work Dwell. This evolving and experiential sculpture uses locally sourced natural materials. In your work Dwell, you talk about rewilding sculpture. What do you mean by that? My rewilding was this idea of bringing the what I was sharing privately in my studio to the outside. I invite people to come and engage with the materials. We relate to these materials in a way that I've always thought, if we could relate in the real world that way to the materials and share that with others, then maybe we could have a better relationship with the environment. It sits with the wind, it sits with the people that come, it sits with the questions. It's captured a real spirit and people sense that when they visit. Why is it so important for you to have the public engage with your work rather than just doing an installation that stands alone? They hold the clay, they get dirty hands. They then gradually get comfortable with it, most of the time. Is that part of the joy, seeing yeah. the tactile nature? Being allowed to touch it. Yeah, because we can't do that in galleries. No. Many of them get a really strong connection with the clay. Yeah. And they then share that. What are the ethical questions you go through, particularly because for folks like you and I, we are settlers on stolen land? I had come into the work thinking that what would be most respectful would be uh, using clay from here, the Gadabinand land. Somehow it settled I was going to use white clay from Wadarung land, already displaced, um, unfired, unprocessed. Most cultures, uh, they reflect on the white clay as reflecting the spirits. And I'd already decided this, for me, this bit of work that had been sitting there for a few months was a dwell spirit. Tell me about the process of sourcing materials and how they go from your studio to here. I tend to incorporate what I come across in the process of making. And somehow they just happen. The materials talk to each other and to me in how they form. I sort of call it weaving and dancing with the materials. So we have a material here called dotter laurel. It's a vine and it's invasive. Uh, indigenous, invasive, it kills a lot of plants. So people have mixed emotions to it. But it's incredible. It's got swirls and it, da it dances itself. So I work with the material rather than do to it. And then when you stand back, you've left a trace of the dance. I don't think I can explain very well how my work translates into uh, looking at the world a different way. I find other people do. And so they bring their own language to rewilding the world, uh, rewilding their thinking, unpacking it. Yeah, but I love that that idea of people leaving their trace as well. I mean, they're physically leaving their imprint, aren't they? I'm encouraging yeah. them to. We all leave a trace. Sometimes you can't see it afterwards, but there are many traces and many we see, many we don't. They're all stories. They're just personal, subjective. Yes. And I celebrate all of them. And that's a wrap from us here at the Lawn Sculpture Biennale. I hope you've discovered something you love in our vibrant, ever-evolving art scene. I look forward to your company again next time, or of course, anytime on iView.